That's the starting line for the Red Hawks. Sam Bachman, 6'1", 220, and a freshman from Fishers, Indiana, is their starting pitcher. And he's been outstanding this season. He is 6-0 with a 3.76 ERA. We'll set the Bobcats defensively for you when we have a chance here. It's getting started a little early tonight. The first one misses low and outside. We are off to the races at 7.58 Eastern time. And game time temperature tonight is right around 60 degrees with rain to the southeast. 67 degrees, actually, right now. One and one the count to Christian Tejada, their DH. Next one, swing and a miss from Eddie Cutt. It is one and two. Tejada, right-handed bat, their designated hitter. One of the top hitters in the league. For this, the best hitting ball club in the league at 310. Eddie Cutt on one, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Tejada, that's quick work of a very good hitter. One up, one down. And here is Will Vogelsang, their shortstop. Eddie Cott, 3-2 with the 2-5-0 ERA. This is his fifth start. This is his 19th appearance. Friday starter, Ohio and Miami. Game one of a three-game series. Supposed to get going at around 6 o'clock tonight, and it just kept raining. Vogelsang shoots this one to center to his left, and under the ball now is Fabic, and he makes the catch. One pitch, one out on Vogelsang, who's a 3.28 hitter. Here's Landon Stevens, their second baseman. Defensively for Ohio, it is Trevor Lucas, Sebastian Fabic, and Ryan Sargent in the outfield left to right. Trevor Hafner, Trey Funderburg, Michael Richardson, and Rudy Rote infield left to right. Tanner Picnic and Eddie Cutt, the battery. Cutt 6'2", 202, Westlake, California. Kicks and brings it home. There is a strike. It is 0-1. Red Hawks are in gray tops and bottoms. They have the numeral in white on the side of the red helmets. 0-1. Swing and a miss. Threw a breaking ball that was diving low and inside. It's 0-2. Landon Stevens, one of two Stevens in the three four holes. 0-2, the count two gone, bases clear. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Elevated fastball on the outer edge. And that's two strikeouts on the first inning for Eddie Cutt. And the Red Hawks are down in order. Nothing for Miami. Ohio coming up. That's the way to do it. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WOUB. And he cut two strikeouts, and the Bobcats batting order looks this way. Leading off in the DH tonight is Aaron Levy. Hitting second, shortstop Trey Funderburg. Three hole, as he is for every game. First baseman Rudy Rote, top five in the league in hitting. Michael Richardson's a cleanup hitter, and he's at second base. In the five hole is the catcher, Tanner Picnic. In left, hitting six is Trevor Lucas. Seven spots, center fielder Sebastian Fabic. In the eight hole, the third baseman, Trevor Hafner. And rounding out the lineup and playing in right is Ryan Sargent. Sam Bachman from suburban Indianapolis, 6'1", 220, Fishers, Indiana. Where's 18? Sam Bachman on there for 32 win Miami. 32 and 12, 16 and five at home, 13 and five away from home. 
three and two in neutral site games. And they're 12 and six in the league this year. They were a team that was receiving votes in the top 25 for a couple of weeks when they had a 14 game winning streak. We'll talk about their schedule. Their schedule was not as challenging as say Kent State's was, but they still won a lot of those games. And they did take two of three from the Golden Flashes in a series earlier this year, but they also just lost, much like Ohio did, to Northern Illinois. They dropped one 13-3 on Sunday. They did beat Xavier midweek 7-4. They had a game against Ohio State canceled, and here we are tonight. Here's Aaron Levy, big swing and a miss. Left-handed hitting DH, it's 0-1. Levy hitting 233, 303 in league play. In at third is Stevens. And here it is, that drops low. One and one. Dimensions here at the Wren, 340 down the lines, 380 to the alleys, 405 to straightaway center field. It is humid, but there's no wind here tonight. One one, Levy shoots his foul over the Bobcat dugout. It is one and two. Lights on here at the Wren. Cloud cover breaking a bit. There is a chance of rain tomorrow on a graduation weekend in Athens. Town changes a whole bunch after this weekend. This is the last home weekend for the Cats as well. One, two, fly ball down the line and left, curling towards the Bobcat bullpen and out of play. Bobcats last weekend took the final game of that three-game series against Kent State. Didn't play a midweek game. But if you're going to win just one, I guess it's good to win the finale. At least you have a little bit of good rolling into next weekend. One, two. This is chopped up the first base chalk foul. Trickling into foul ground. One and two. Bobcats at 15 and 26. 8 and 11 at home, 7 and 15 away from home, and 9 and 9 in Mid American Conference play. One and two the count on Ohio's DH and leadoff man Aaron Levy. Bachman takes a little while, turns, kicks, fires on 1 2. It's a swing and a foul tip on a breaking ball. Just barely got a piece. One and two the count. There's RPI in college baseball, much like there is in every other sport. Miami, despite their 32 wins, is 141. The best RPI number in the MAC is Ball State at 116. We'll see them in Muncie next weekend. One, two, pop up down the line and left. This is heading towards the bullpen and out of play. Good at bat for Aaron Levy. And you know it's a good at bat because new baseballs need to be brought out to the umpire here during the at bat. So Ball State at 116, Central Michigan at 118, Kent State at 129, Miami at 141. Then Western at 221, Toledo 227, Ohio at 240. One, two, called strike three on a change up on the outside edge. Strike out of Levy looking. And strikeout number 40 for Sam Bachman. Sorry, number uh, 58 for Bachman to go along with uh, 26 walks. Here's Traben Funderburg up to the two hole hitting 277 overall this year. Mac play. Trey hitting 313. Right-handed bat, shortstop, and the pitch. Hit on the ground, towards short. His counterpart, Vogelsang, throws, got him. Two away. Here's Rudy Rode. Two gone, bottom of the first, just underway after a two-hour delay. Miami went down in order in their first inning. Rudy Rote trying to extend the inning for Michael Richardson. 
Rudy hitting 359, which is the same exact average that Miami's lead hitter has, Christian Tejada. In league play, Rudy's hitting 418. First one from Bachman misses low to the left-handed bat from Holman, Wisconsin. Rudy wrote. Had a good chat with his father prior to the ball game today. Holman, right around La Crosse in the western portion of the state of Wisconsin. 1-0, fouled back to the screen. All told, it's about 11 hours of a drive from Holman, Wisconsin to Athens. It's about seven and a half hours from here to my home of DeKalb, Illinois. The more you make it, the easier it is. Faster it seems. 1-1, one, one, swing and a miss. Challenged him with the fastball. Rudy came up empty. It's 1-2. But just like in anything else, you know, as you get older, time seems to move a lot quicker. And when you make a drive as many times as Rudy's parents have, I'm sure the 11 hours or thereabouts seems to go a lot quicker. One and two, the count, two gone, bottom of the first, and the pitch. Fly ball, center field. Moving back on this one, Massman, and he will make the catch. Just to the right of straightaway center. And much like the Bobcats retire the Red Hawks in order, the Bobcats go down in order in the bottom of the first. Through one, scoreless game. Game one of a three-game series, Ohio and Miami. Thanks for listening. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WOUB. They've got a couple of weekends to try to win it. They've got a couple of teams to compete against. Seventh year head coach of the Bobcats, Rob Smith, trying to get some wins to get to the MAC tournament. A lot on the line this weekend for both ball clubs. On to the second we go in a scoreless game and a bouncing ball for Jordan Stevens to short, bobbled momentarily by Funderburg, and then throws off the bag to first to Rode, who slapped the tag down in time to get the 344 hitting Stevens on one pitch. A little bit of a bobble, and then Rote knew that ball was coming off the bag to the home plate side, and then he slapped the leather down. And there's one up, one down. Here is Kyle Winkler, their left fielder. Hits 295. Four home runs, 28 runs batted in. Eddie Cut back out there for the Cats, and the first one misses outside of the right handed hitter. Ohio in white tops, white bottoms, the 1980s Chicago White Sox style. Green bar across the chest, Ohio in white. There's the strike, it's 1-1. Miami in red print across the chest, trimmed in white. Bold numbers on the lower left and back of the uniform. 1-1, one, one, fouled off of the plate. It's 1-2. and two. As you would imagine, just friends and family here tonight Graduation weekend in Athens, weather weekend here in Athens, rained all day today. But wherever you're enjoying this broadcast tonight, hopefully you are enjoying it. One, two, that's low and outside. Two and two the count. We'll check Major League scores as we go along. We'll check Max scores as we go along. We'll take your questions, concerns, compliments, whatever you'd like to offer. At Russ Eisenstein on Twitter is your outlet there. 
2-2 pitch from Eddie Cup with the bases clear and one gone. Miss Lumen outside, 3-2. This is a Red Hawk ball club that is tops in the league in hitting and tops in pitching. They are 11th in the country in hitting. 11th. 3-2 pitch. Low, ball four. First base runner for the Red Hawks is a one-out walk in the second for Kyle Winkler. Here is Cal Elvers, their catcher. 339 hitter, Cal Elvers. From Springfield, Illinois, Sacred Heart Griffin High School. They've got a great athletic tradition there. Miami has always gotten students from Illinois, much like Ohio. One gone, runner at first, top of two, scoreless game. There's a strike to Cal Elvers. In pitching, the Red Hawks are 60th in the country. Just ahead of Washington, just below Iowa. So that's where the MAC ranks with the top pitching and hitting team in the country. New Mexico State, always a kingpin in the whack. They lead the country in batting average at 359. Then Penn, Vanderbilt, Arizona State, Mississippi State. Next one misses low, it's one and one. Baylor, 6th. Jackson State, 7th. Bryant, 8th. Bryant's hitting 315 as a team. Arkansas, man, are they having a big year. Pixuey's hitting 311. They're ninth in the country. Then Incarnate Word out of San Antonio. They hit 310. This one is lying down the line, into the corner and right, and it's splashed down foul. Into a lake in the right field corner. Sergeant came racing over, but it splashed down in a puddle down there on the right field corner. So one and two the count. After uh, Miami is Southern University, then Tulane, Texas Tech, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, and Arizona. So those are the top hitting teams in the country. Elvers has a 1-2 count, one gone, top of two, runner at first, scoreless game. Good lead on there by Winkler. He's holding. This is a bouncing ball towards the left side. Off the bag, Hafner long off the bag and throws to first in time. That was the only play he had. Even if Thunderbird fielded that ball, there's little chance to get the runner at second. So that's two gone. Here is McKay Williams, their right fielder. McKay Williams, phonetically spelled M-U-H-K-K-A-Y. Left-handed bat, two gone. Runner on its second, and Ohio and Miami scoreless here. Left-handed bat, caught on the right side of the rubber, and swing and a miss. It's 0-1. McKay Williams hits 3-0-4. Three home runs, 28 runs batted in. McKay from Overland Park, Kansas, went to Fort Scott Community College. Good junior conference, conference, Jayhawk League. A one, smoke to right, Sargent broke over and then that drops in for a base hit. Hitting third, coming in to score is Winkler. Scores without a play, standing up. And the Red Hawks lead it, one nothing on a line drive single to right with two gone by McKay Williams. RBI number 29 on the year for him. Winkler scored from second, no problem. It's tough out there. There's a lot of standing water in the outfield. And so that's not gonna get a whole lot of roll to it. And that's how the Red Hawks lead it, one nothing. Their first hit of the night brings in their first run of the night. Here is Parker Massman, their center fielder. There's a strike. It's 0-1. Massman hits 243. Three home runs, 19 runs batted in. Open stance, right-handed side. Kind of rests that bat on his right shoulder. And the 0-1. Swing and a miss from Eddie Cut. It's 0-2. Two 
Two gone, top of two, one nothing Red Hawks. From their seven hole hitter, McKay Williams. There's a lot of room in left center field here. 0 2 is letter high. One and two the count. Important to get this game in tonight because you never know about the weather tomorrow. Ohio needs to find wins. The thought is you need four in the final three weekends. 0-2 shot foul over the screen and out of play. It's kind of an interesting and odd quiet about this part of campus tonight. It's graduation weekend, so unless you are graduating, most students are gone. There's just not a lot of activity. Bouncing ball to short. Funderburg squares that up. Slides it over to second with Richardson covering in the force out of McKay Williams. And the inning is done. But the Red Hawks score a run. They get a hit. They leave a man. There were no errors. We're through with one and a half. One nothing Miami. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WOUB. Back to Bob Bren Stadium. Game one of a three-game series, Ohio and Miami. Bobcats in a one-nothing early hole against Sam Bachman. 6-0, 3-7-6 ERA, 58 strikeouts, 26 walks. Made short work of the Cats in the bottom of the first. Michael Richardson, Tanner Picnic, and Trevor Lucas scheduled here. And the first one is bounced over the mound towards short. Back of the bag at short. It is Vogelsang. Throws late to first despite a long stretch. And it will be an infield base hit. That was a very long stretch. And it almost looked painful to see as Charlie Harrigan at first really stretched out there. There was a player on the Padres earlier this year that did the splits at second, and he's been hurt ever since. Pitch misses low from uh, Bachman. It is 1-0. That's, uh, I believe, Fernando Tatis Jr. Here's Tanner Picnic. Runner on at first. Picnic hitting 136. And this one's bounced towards third. It is a foul ball right back of the bag. Fielded there by Jordan Stevens. And you take those plays for granted, but um, the human body has some limitations from time to time. Some more than others. And uh, stretch is not exactly an easy thing to do. One on one the count. Bottom of the second, one nothing Miami. Bachman from the stretch, and here it is. Tap foul to the Bobcat dugout. Kyle Winkler in left, Parker Massman in center, and McKay Williams in right. Jordan Stevens at third, Will Vogelsang at short. Landon Stevens at second, Charlie Harrigan at first, and Cal Elvers the catcher for 6-0 starter Sam Bachman. 1-2 pitch coming here to the Bobcat catcher. It's fouled back. 
Bobcats played in Oxford last year. Bobcats in this series all time. They do have the all time edge. These two uh, historic Mac schools, the last two, the charter members last standing. Longtime rivals. One two pitch, runner goes. Swing and a miss, strike three, throw down to second, balls there, tag late. Shortstop Vogelsang took the throw that was to the first base side of the bag. And so it is a stolen base for Michael Richardson with now one gone in the inning on the second strikeout for Bachman. Here's Trevor Lucas. Lucas hits 250. Home run and eight runs batted in. His plate song, this is the outfield by the way. This has gotten a, a resurgence across the country. This is an 80s song. And um, more and more guys are using this song as a plate song than I've ever heard in my life. Charlie Blackman uses it for the Colorado Rockies and then of course you can go through college baseball. I believe the SEC's all-time leading hit king who just uh, got that honor last week. Mississippi State Bulldog uses that song. Lucas uses it too. And the pitch, swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Runner on at second, one gone, 0 1 the count. Mississippi State, by the way, is sixth in the country, depending on what poll you're looking at. They're playing 14th ranked Texas A&M this weekend. Next one misses, it's 1 and 1. Scores from around the rest of the MAC. Ball State beat Northern Illinois 6-2. Western Michigan did beat Eastern 4-2 today. Kent State leads Toledo 6-3. That's in the top of the eighth in Northeast Ohio. And Central and Bowling Green were postponed. Here, runner at second, one gone, bottom of two. one nothing Ohio trails. Lucas trying to come through here with Sebastian Fabic on deck. Here it is from Bachman. Swing and a foul tip into the mid of Elvers. Strike three, back-to-back -back Ks. Third strikeout of the day for Bachman. Here's Sebastian Fabic. Runner on at second, two gone. one nothing Miami with the lead. Fabic hitting 2-11. Three home runs, 20 runs batted in. Shoots his foul, first base side out of play. Some uh, pink and purplish hues over the convo right now. At uh, Sunset, Southeast Ohio. Lights on here at the ballpark, obviously, but you can see the break in the clouds overhead here. And some pretty colors there above the light standards. One and one the count on seven hole hitting Sebastian Fabic. One nothing Red Hawks. Both ball clubs have a hit. Bachman from the stretch. And here it is to Sebastian. Low and outside. Two and one. So right now. Ohio and Western Michigan are pretty much in that battle for the last spot as it seems like everybody else has solidified their top um, standing in the league. Central Ball State, Miami, Northern Illinois. Fly ball down the line and right, curling into foul ground near the bullpen and out of play. Two and two the count. On Sebastian Fabic. So that last spot, that sixth spot, will be contested by Ohio and WMU, it would appear. 
obviously, unless Ohio were to uh, rip through the final nine games, which is a thing that can happen. I mean, it's baseball. Who knows? But uh, largely, four wins are what you would think would would get Ohio there. 2-2 two -two pitch, two gone, runner at second. That just missed low. Three and two the count. Three and two the count, two gone. Runner on at second and the pitch. Fly ball foul, lined down the right field line. Three and two. Got going here two hours late tonight because of the rain. Didn't rain that whole time, but that outfield's pretty soupy. Payoff pitch, runner at second, two gone. High and tight, ball four. Good at bat, Sebastian Fabic. Here's Trevor Hafner. Hafner, it's 214. Home run and 19 runs batted in. Much like the rest of the ball club, his numbers in league play, much better. 269 hitter. Home run and 15 runs batted in in league play. First and second, the runners, two gone. Bottom of two, one nothing. Ohio trails. Here it is from Bachman. Drops that in there for a strike. It is 0-1. Two gone, runners on first and second here. Ohio trying to come through with a little something here in the bottom of the second inning. Bachman from the stretch. And here it is. Low. 2-0. and oh. By comparison, the second inning has gone at a glacial pace compared to the first. Both the top and bottom of the first innings were quite quick. Second inning, completely different. On at second is Richardson. Single on the stolen base. On at first is Fabic. 1-1. One, one. High. Throw down to second is high and into center field, but backed up there by Massman. No advancement of the runner. It's not often you see a backside throw down to second. Two and one the count. And that was a uh, high throw in the center. Massman there to back it up. Two and one the count with two gone. Bachman from the stretch. And here it is. Fly ball foul, first base side out of play. Two and two. Bobcats at Ball State next weekend. They took care of NIU and DeKalb today. Two and two the count. Bachman from the belt. The kick in the 2-2. This is inside. Three and two, the count. <laughs> Ohio down one nothing, but showing some competitive at bats here, hanging in counts. Traveling time for the runners, and that one might have hit him. It eluded him actually, and goes back to the backstop. That was shoulder high and all the way back. And the bases are loaded now. This inning has turned into a mess for Bachman. So that's back-to-back -back walks. Richardson to third, Fabic to second, and here is Ryan Sargent, time called. 
pitching coach out for the Red Hawks to chat with Bachman on the mound. Cats trying to turn this into overdrive. Maybe take a lead here with two gone in the second. Always an interesting week, finals week. And much like you heard Rob Smith in the pregame show, finals week's a lot different now than it was back when I was in school or maybe when you were in school. Because a lot of times you could take a whole lot of online stuff. You don't necessarily have to go to class, go to take a final. But um, still a lot to manage. And for those who are seniors here, on a graduation weekend in Athens. You might have a lot of other distractions. Different than a normal home weekend that add on to the rivalry aspect of this one. Always interesting. Bases loaded, two gone, bottom two, Ohio down one nothing, and Ryan Sargent takes a strike. It is 0-1. Sargent with the bases loaded this year is 0 for 2. Sargent as a hitter this year he is 9 for 16. Base is packed with Cats, two gone, bottom two. And the pitch misses Lemon outside. One and one the count. Now Bachman looked like he was in overdrive in the first inning. Great command, and now command has eluded him in this inning. Back to back walks. 1 1. Low and away. 2 and 1. Ohio down one nothing, and the Cats have a chance here against one of the best teams in this league. After seeing Kent State last weekend, this is the triple step here of tough weekends. That Western weekend won't be easy either. 2-1, hit on the ground towards short. This is a tough play, fielded by the shortstop high throw first, got him. Stevens and Vogelsang were there, and the high throw to first was able to be reeled in by Harrigan, and the inning is done. Ohio leaves three on the ground out by Sargent. We're through two, one nothing Red Hawks. 90 second pause, 90 second pause. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WEB. Last Red Hawk to have his first crack at Eddie Cutt is up there now. Charlie Harrigan, their first baseman. one nothing Red Hawks. We go to the third. Eddie Cutt back out there for the Cats. Harrigan making his 34th start. He's a 272 hitter. Wears 32 in red on that gray uniform top and swings through that one. It's 1-1. One one. Red Hawks scored a run on an RBI single by McKay Williams in the second. Ohio left the bases loaded in the second, swing and a miss. One and two. It's not often you see the numerals, the numbers, on the batting helmets, but um, 
The Red Hawks have the uh, kind of script M in white on the front, and then the number on the side. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's short work for the third strikeout of the day for Eddie Cut. Here's Christian Tejada, good hitter here. 359 hitter with a home run and 25 runs batted in. One nothing Miami, we're in the third. Cut. Works from the wine. The California Cat brings it home. That's low. One and no. Must apologize. Probably don't hear the normal pep or oomph or sizzle of the infotainment you have come to expect from me tonight. I've been sick all week. And that one really got me this week. Sick all week, 1-0. There's a strike. It's 1-1. One one. It's one of those things where this one had me down for the count. I'm such a baby when I'm sick. I mean, I, I really think like I'm going to die. 1-1 one one pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 1-2. and two. So it started on Monday. I remember coming back from the gym, and I, I felt the chills as I was driving down 682, which... Um, some people might feel anyway. 1-2, bouncing ball that's right of the mound, cut down to get it near the chalk, and he tags a runner going by. So he's gotten a strikeout at Tejada, and he's gotten him to ground out 2-1-3. That's two really good passes through a very good hitter. And here's Will Vogelsang. And I thought, well, I'm going to get sick. And I did. Don't know exactly what it was, but uh, it just left me with no energy whatsoever. Feeling better today, but just not the, the standard Eisenstein oomph that you expect from me. But there are worse things in the world. Some people have to uh, do a lot more difficult things when they're sick than this. So if you'll bear with me, I'll still try to bring it for you today. Oh, and one the count, two gone on Will Vogelsang, and he swings and misses. With two gone, and the base is clear here in the top of the third. I've got a really large appetite, and so when I don't have the, the will to eat, that's when you know it's tough. Right now it's just kind of settled in the back of my throat, which is fairly tough for a broadcaster. 0-2, oh, line shot, center field, base hit. That was squared up by Will Vogelsang. Solid single for Miami's second hit of the night. Here is Landon Stevens. But anyway, self-medication. Whole lot of uh, go to the pharmacy and see what you can find. I don't know if that's exactly the right thing to do. Some people run to the doctor right away. We'll get through it. Two gone, a runner at first. one nothing Miami with the lead. Hopefully you are in full health tonight as you're enjoying baseball on the radio or your live web stream tonight. And the pitch. Swing and a miss for Landon Stevens, who struck out in the first. one nothing Red Hawks. Nothing says full life and vitality than listening to Mac baseball on the radio on a Friday night from Southeast Ohio. I mean, this is this is living right here. 0-1's high. 1-1 the count. On the air tomorrow, scheduled at 2.50 for a 3 o'clock first pitch. Game 2 of the series. Cut from the stretch. Looks at the runner at first. And instead a throw to first. Soup is never my first option. It just it, it, soup to me is just not something. You know, uh, need to eat something. Ah, I gotta have soup. But it seems like a good thing when you're sick. So I had that a little bit this week, or tried to anyway. Bouncing ball wide, a third foul. Applesauce had some of that this week. And uh, it's a whole lot of the office. Tried to sleep a lot. But uh, there's a bug going around. It is packing a punch, to be sure. 
Two gone, runner at first, top of three, one nothing Red Hawks with the lead. Always tough to get sick in springtime, too. Throw to first, and they, ooh, didn't get him. That was uh, pretty close, in fact. One-two pitch coming up for Medi Cut. Swing and a miss, strike three. Elevated there, and Stevens, who's a good hitter in his own right, swung through it. It's four strikeouts. Red Hawks leave a runner. We're through with two and a half. One nothing Miami. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WEB. Two hits for the Red Hawks, one for Ohio. Long way to go tonight. Miami on top, one nothing. Bobcats will lead it off back to the top of the lineup with Aaron Levy. Cats had a chance an inning ago and left the bases loaded. Have some uh, rambunctious little ones below us here. What's up, man? How old are you? Ten? Uh, kind of. What's up? Where are you from? You're from Lancaster? Okay. You a Bobcat fan? Tonight you are? Okay. Fly ball left field. It's going to hang up there for Winkler. Makes the catch. There's one gone. Levy's retired to start off the bottom of the third. Here's Traben Funderburg. one nothing, Miami with the lead. One gone here, bottom three. Funderburg, right-handed bat, two white batting gloves, back of the box, open stance, and the pitch. Bouncing ball left side, that is gonna find its way to short, and a long looping throw to first is late. Vogelsang reigns to his right. That was a tough play. It's gonna be an infield hit for Trey Funderburg. Here's Rudy Rode. That was perfectly placed on the left side of the infield. So once it got past Jordan Stevens at third, it was going to be a tough play for Vogelsang. And thus, Ohio has a one-out base runner in the third inning. One-nothing Miami here in the last of the third on a windless night in southeast Ohio. Rained a ton earlier today. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. For Rudy Rote. Final home weekend for him. Probably emotional, though. I don't know that 100% to be the case. But he's done a lot of good work here. 0 1 pitch coming from Bachman with Funderburg dancing at first. That's outside. 1 and 1 the count. Rudy, part of the NCAA tournament team two seasons ago. He'd love to get on a run here at the end of this season to conclude his college career in the big dance again. Runner at first, one gone, bottom of three, and the pitch to Rudy. Outside. Really trying to work him away. That's been the, the book on him. 
if there is going to be a book on, on how you're going to approach him. Two and one the count, but his plate coverage, his two-strike approach, we, we've talked about it a lot. Miami fans, I'm sure, know it too. Two-one pitch. That's low and inside. Knocked down on a good stop by Elvers. Three and one. One gone, last to three. One nothing Miami with the lead. Cats left three, an inning ago. One out base runner here with lights in full effect. In front of a small crowd here at the Wren. 3-1. Called a strike in the outside edge. And uh, Rudy didn't like that call, or didn't agree with it. 3-2 the count. Thunderberg holding, swing and a miss. Strike three. That's a really good pitch by Bachman. Elevated a bit. So that was between the belt and the letters, and that was probably well outside, and, and Rudy tried to protect, and it was a good thing that the runner wasn't going there. You don't know how it would have turned out, but there was a chance on that type of play for a strike him out, throw him out, double play. And so Rudy's 0 for 2 tonight. Here's Michael Richardson. Strikeout number four on the night for Bachman. Runner at first, two gone. Red Hawks on top, one nothing. With a two out base hit in the second. And the pitch. Misses Lumen inside. on Michael Richardson. Two gone, home half of the third. Just getting going tonight after a two hour rain delay. 1-0 pitch. Bouncing ball to the right side. To his left is Landon Stevens. Picks it up, throws to first, and got him by half a step. Inning done. No runs a hit, no errors and a man left. We play three, one nothing Miami. 90 second pause, this is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WOUB. Stevens leads it off. Four, five, and six scheduled for the 32 win Miami Red Hawks. And the first one from Eddie Cutt is a strike. It is 0 1. Meeting 243 all time between these two schools. Ohio is 130 wins. Bouncing ball right back to the mound. Speared by Cutt. And he throws to first in time. That one, he, he had a little cushion as he reeled that in at the top of the mound. And so he softened the blow as he pulled that tan glove back and in one motion was able to flag it, settle himself, throw to first, one pitch, one out. And that's a really good job against a very good hitter in Jordan Stevens. Ohio's pitchers this year have fielded their position incredibly well. 
There is a strike on Kyle Winkler. It is 0-1. I mean, the last couple of weekends, you just take a look at, at what the pitchers have been able to do to, to take in comebackers or line drives. 0-1, swing and a miss. It's 0 2 So it's not just the, the standard plays. They have, they've made some really good defensive plays on some hard-hit balls. And that's something that when Ohio hasn't been good, they haven't been able to do. 0-2, that's Lemon outside on Kyle Winkler. It's one and two. It's a Red Hawk ball club that started off in Hoover, Alabama this year. And they split a four-game series with the Billikens of St. Louis. I believe they played that, the Hoover Met. That's where they play the SEC tournament. One, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Winkler, who walked and scored Miami's lone run, strikeout victim number five on the night. Here's Cal Elvers. That ballpark there, the Hoover Met, that's the ballpark that Michael Jordan played in when he was a member of the Birmingham Barons. They now play in downtown Birmingham, but they have that ballpark up in Hoover, Alabama, where they play high school football, too. Pitch misses inside. It's 1-0. That's the park that you saw on that um, MTV show about um, Hoover High School. High school football a couple years ago. Bouncing ball back to the mound that gets past cut to second. Richardson throws on the run to first in time. He came charging in and lob tossed over to first to get Cal Overs by a couple of steps. That's a nice one, two, three inning spun by Eddie Cutt. One nothing, Ohio trails. We go to the bottom of the fourth. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WOUB. It's amazing how quickly this whole thing goes by as we are on this, the May the 3rd, on the road next weekend at Ball State, on the road after that at Western, then hopefully off to Avon. one nothing uh, Miami with the lead, bottom of the fourth inning. Back out there is Bachman, and the first pitch is inside of Michael Richardson that actually hit him. Side of the jersey. So here is Trevor Lucas. Sorry, that was Tanner Picnic who was hit by that pitch. Picnic. And here is Lucas as Ohio starts off this bottom of the fourth inning. Lucas, Ohio's left fielder. Leadoff man on. Ohio down one nothing. This is Picnic, Lucas, and Fabic scheduled. And Lucas squares to bunt, and he lines his foul to the first base coach's box. Mentioned the Red Hawks started their season in Alabama. Took two out of three to Murray State. That was in Kentucky. Beat Oakland, Xavier, Youngstown State, Northern Kentucky, St. Bonaventure, Eastern Kentucky, and that's how they rolled into Mac play. Won 14 in a row at one point this year. 0-1, that's high and tight. 1-1. One one. 
No, it's not exactly a, a murderer's row non-conference competition, but they did roll through 14 straight. Lost to 11th ranked Louisville 6-1. This is a bouncer that is played by the first baseman to the right of the mound. That's here again and throws to first with the second baseman taking the throw. Sacrifice complete 3-4 with Picnic going up to second. Good bunt by Trevor Lucas. Here is Sebastian Fabic. Fabic with the uh, walk earlier tonight. One gone, bottom of the fourth, runner on at second. Just saw a note on Twitter, pitch that drops low. TuneIn does not have the full schedule of Ohio baseball on the uh, dedicated Ohio Bobcat channel on TuneIn. So therefore, if you're trying to listen on TuneIn, you have to go to WOUBAM. So if you go to the Ohio Bobcats portion of, of TuneIn, as if it were football or basketball, it's not going to be played there. Bouncing ball to second, knocked down by Stevens. Good play, throws after he got up from his knee and throws out Sebastian Fabic. It's a hot shot that was flagged by Landon Stevens. Taking third on the play is Tanner Picnic. Here is Trevor Hafner. Two gone, runner at third. Ohio down one, nothing, last of the fourth. So, uh, yeah, the tune-in portion with Ohio Bobcats is, is not active during uh, baseball like it is for football or basketball, but you have to uh, search WOUBAM. Hafner takes one low and outside. It's 1-0. Oh. So you've got OhioBobcats.com to be able to listen with the stretch portal. You've got the conventional trusty AM radio, 1340 AM. Or you've got TuneIn at WOUB. Lots of ways. And the YouTube stream tonight, 1-0. Oh. That's low and outside. Jason and Zach tag teaming that. A couple of offices to my right. Long day and night at the ballpark for everybody involved. Game one of this series. 2-0 the count, two gone. Bottom of the fourth, one nothing Miami. And the pitch is a strike to Hafner. Potentially a generous call. Two gone here, last of the fourth. Bachman works from the wind with the runner at third. Kicks and fires. Swing and a chopper at the left side. Off the bag, Stevens throws high to first, and it got away. And then slipping after he got past the bag is Hafner, and Ohio's on the board with an air on an E5. So Picnic scores, E5, puts Ryan Sargent to the plate, and that's how Ohio ties the game. That was just a high throw to first. Slapped off that wall, and then once Hafner got back past the bag, he slipped and ended up on his backside. Might not be the last time we see one of those plays tonight. Wet baseball. And the pitch. That's low. It's 1-0. Oh. On Ryan Sargent, who grounded out with the bases loaded back in the second. Tied up at one, last of the fourth. And here it is from Bachman. Bouncing ball to the Bobcat dugout. So they got a two out hit to bring in a run in the second. Ohio gets a two out air to score a run here in the fourth. One one pitch from Bachman. That popped the mitt inside. Two and one. Bobcats in their series this year. Lost the series to Central. Beat Bowling Green, beat Toledo, swept Eastern Michigan, swept by Northern Illinois. Lost last weekend, Kent State. Hot shot to third underneath the glove of Jordan Stevens and in the left. 
Solid single from the nine hole hitter, Ryan Sargent. Station to station ball here is up to second goes Trevor Hafner. Two gone, two aboard. Top side of the order now to Aaron Levy. Third hit of the night for Ohio. And for the bottom portion of the lineup, the bottom three in the lineup, Fabic has a walk. Hafner has a walk, reached on an air. Sargent with a single. So guys getting on base here in their first two plate appearances. And Aaron Levy tonight is 0 for 2. Two gone, last of the fourth. Ohio trying to scratch out another run here to lead for the first time tonight. Ohio lost the series in Oxford last year. Ohio won game one, four, three. Then lost Saturday, six, one, and then lost on Sunday, four, two. Check swing. They appeal. He didn't go around. Looked to be a strike anyway, but it's a ball. It's one and oh. Two gone. Runners on first and second. McKee Field at Hayden Park is a really, really nice ballpark. They've done good work there. Good setting, intimate, 1-0 pitch, fouled back. The only thing I don't necessarily like about it is there, there aren't dedicated radio booths there. Now, I, I enjoy the company of everybody in the scoreboard room, but it doesn't mean that they want to hear every word that I say. Um, and the windows don't open up in front of you there got to have a side window there to get a crowd mic out. That would be my only quibble with it. 1-1, one, one, there's a strike. It's 1-2. and two. Field turf surface there. They got a hitting building down the third base side. Two most beautiful campuses in the MAC to be sure, Ohio and Miami, long-standing rivals, doing battle again for the 243rd time. 1-2 pitch. Chopper over the mound, charging at short there, and there's a bobble, and everybody's safe. Vogelsang came in, and, and remember I told you it's not going to be the last time that we had a, a bobble with the baseball tonight because the tarp wasn't on this field, obviously. The, there isn't a tarp here anymore. So that field turf just obviously took in all the water, drained it, but uh, still wet. So the bases are loaded now on another Red Hawk air. E6 puts Aaron Levy on. Here's Trey Funderburg, second time tonight. Ohio's had the bases loaded. Second time tonight with two outs. Ball game tied at one in the fourth. And the pitch, smacked on the ground foul. Wide to third to where the tarp used to be. Two gone here in the fourth and another key in this contest for the Cats. This is the best hitting and pitching team in the league. How many chances are they going to give you? How many can you squander and still have a chance to win? What came first, the chicken or the egg? So many questions. And we'll have some answers as we move forward. Probably not about the chicken or the egg, though. Pitch misses a little bit outside. 1-0 to Trey Funderburg. Tree falls in the woods. Sound? Tough to tell. One and one to count, two gone, bottom of four. Bases loaded for Ohio. They've out hit the Red Hawks 4 2 tonight. That is a, a change. That's going to be an infield hit on Aaron Levy's trip to first. Two and one to count. So one error for the Red Hawks right now. Four hits for the Cats. Lights on here at the ballpark, very calm. Temperatures in the mid-60s after the rain moved through. 2-1 pitch, bouncing ball, knocked by Bachman to second, flipped to the bag for the force out, and that's how they get out of the inning. Landon Stevens to Vogelsang after it clipped off the glove of Bachman, but it ricocheted perfectly, so that is a 1-4-6 fielder's choice, and the inning is done.
Game tied at one. One, four, and zero for the green and white. One, two, and one for Love and Honor Miami. Eddie cut back out there for the Cats, and the first one is a strike call to McKay Williams. It is 0 and 1. 7, 8, and 9 in the Red Hawk lineup. Good year for Miami. 32 wins. For head coach Danny Hayden. 1 and 1 to count. Hayden, a Cincinnati native. Went to McNichols High School. Went to Xavier, graduated there in 2008. So he is a Southwest Ohio guy. 1-1. One, one. Up and away. He uh, got his degree from Xavier in 08, but he did play at Miami. 04 team at 36 wins. Catcher on that team. Mac East title. 2-1, high and wide. 3-1 the count. Draft in the 47th round of the 08 draft by the White Sox. See the White Sox walked off the Red Sox last night? Now in Chicago, it's just the Sox. Boston is referred to as the Red Sox. 3-1, low, ball four. McKay Williams with the leadoff walk. Here is Parker Massman. Massman, their center fielder. Lead-off man on. Ball game tied at one. Ohio's had bases loaded opportunities tonight and hasn't cashed in, though did tie the game in the bottom of the fourth. Last year, Miami had 35 wins. That was the best of a Danny Hayden coached team. There's a strike. It's 0-1 on Massman, who ended the second on the fielder's choice. They went 17 and 10 in league play last year. One, two, three, now four of his uh, six seasons will be over 500 in league play. One and one the count on the eight hole hitter, Parker Massman. Of course, Adam Eaton, Washington Nationals, is a Miami product. Chris Rose, intentional talk on MLB Network and a lot of other programs. He's a Miami graduate. Saw his son is going to go there. Saw an intentional talk earlier this week that uh, they were out at the ballpark in Oxford a couple of weeks ago when he, um, Chris Rose's son, said that he'd be going to Miami as well. 1-1 one, one pitch. That's high. 2-1 the count. On the eight-hole hitter, Parker Massman. These two schools both have a, a lot of dis uh, distinguished alums, sports and otherwise. Who knows what the graduating class of 2019 has in store for them. 2-1. Chopper back to the mound, over the mound. Richardson charges there. Only play at first is a low throw, but dug out by Rudy Rowe. Really is a fielder's choice, but the only choice there was to throw to first. Williams on to second. Here is Charlie Harrigan, their first baseman. But uh, wish all the graduates, both schools, all the best. Hopefully life treats them right. They get the breaks they deserve, and hopefully they stay out of prison. Which I guess is anybody's goal, really. I mean, if you're living life the right way, you are... Away from the clink. Bouncing ball to the right side. Richardson to his left. Sucks it up. Throws to first in time. Moving to third is McKay Williams on the 4-3 ground out. Hmm? Uh, yes, I did, actually. Thank you, though. No, I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate that, though. It's okay. If you've, if you've uh, got some Tylenol somewhere, that'd be awesome, too. <laughs> Parents of the ball club, always so friendly. Do appreciate it. <laughs> Pitch miss is low. It's 1-0. Just trying to soldier through this one. There are tougher things to do, that, that's to be sure. But uh, always nice to be offered food. 1-0 the count, two gone. Top of the fifth. Red Hawks and Ohio. Level at one. 
Pitch misses Lewin outside. 2-0 the count. <laughs> In the fifth with a runner on at third. And the pitch. Misses Lewin outside. <laughs> Now the parents are, are looking for Advil or a packet or something. I pitch misses, but called a strike. It's three and one. Two gone, runner on at third. Ball game tied at one, Ohio and Miami. This is smoked on the ground fair. Down the line at third, two on Miami. On an RBI single to left. That plates McKay Williams on a Christian Tejada single, and the Red Hawks take the lead back. It is 2-1. Oh, that works great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Got a packet of Advil here. <laughs> Thank you so much. On a bouncing ball, that was just fair down the line at third, and the Red Hawks lead the ball game 2-1, and Miami takes the lead back on a Christian Tejada RBI single. It's RBI number 26 of his season. Here is Will Vogelsang. 2-1, Miami with the lead. That's the third hit of the night. Inning continues here in the fifth. And the pitch. Living outside. One and one. Vogel sang tonight, flew out, singled. Tejada now one for three on the night, and he's too good of a hitter to keep down for too long. A one pitch coming. There's a strike. One and one from Eddie Cut. Now, this is the best hitting ball club in the league. 310 average coming in, and. Uh, they have two runs on three hits. Not bad at all. And he cut his five strikeouts tonight. He's walked two. Runner on at second, 0 2 the count. Two gone. And the Bobcats trail it now 2 1. Cut from the stretch. Here it is to Vogelsang. Called strike three, and Vogelsang can't believe it. He, he kind of turned away from it, and it bent back into the zone. Has a word for the home plate umpire, and then he gives a thumbs up as he walks back to the dugout. That's strikeout number six. Two-out single for Tejada. And Ohio trails at 2-1 as we go to the bottom of the fifth. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WEB. And Ohio University baseball trails Miami 2-1. Bachman back out there. Sam Bachman, the starter for Miami, and the first one to Rudy Rote drops low. It is 1-0. Everything else in the league, I believe, is done for the night. We'll check scores here as we move forward. 
Bachman's done good work against Rudy. 0 for 2 tonight is Rudy. 2-0 the count. Ball State beats Miami 6-2 into Cal. Western beat Eastern 4-2. Kent over Toledo 6-3. Central and BG postponed. 2-0, shot foul. So you are up to date in the MAC. And uh, we'll take a look at uh, standings here as we move forward. Well, I'm thinking about it. Did you see what happened at, at Louisiana Tech, I believe, earlier this week, maybe last weekend? Base hit to left by Rudy Rowe. So a leadoff single here. That's Ohio's fifth hit of the night. They had uh, tornadoes in Louisiana. That's rust in Louisiana. That's... Um, I guess northeastern-ish Louisiana. And they had tornadoes and storms roll through there at La Tech, and it just ravaged their athletic complex there. You can uh, go on Twitter. You can Google on the Internet to take a look at, at all that they're dealing with there. If you go to d1baseball.com and you pull up the story, you could see the outfield wall was blown down. So much of that baseball uh, park has, has been damaged. Softball, too. Tough time in Ruston. A lot of storms in Louisiana more recently. Line drive down the line and right foul by Michael Richardson. It is 0-1. Yeah, La Tech, they had a uh, F3 tornado roll through there. And so much damage that they, they might not have a home ballpark there in a couple of years. Pop-up foul near the Red Hawk dugout, and it lands on the top of the dugout. But uh, scoreboard was blown down, and it was a, a brick structure that supported the beams. And that was absolutely uh, just obliterated. The roof of the seating structure. Just taking a look at a lot of pictures now. Beams down. It was just uh, awful. Outfield wall blown down, batter's eye blown down. Just uh, really a shame. La Tech baseball might not have a home for a while. 0-2 pitch. This is golf to shallow left. This gets a little carry now. Moving back on it is Winkler, left center field. It makes the catch. So wrote back to first. One gone here. Last of the fifth, and Ohio trails it 2-1. They call their uh, ballpark there the Love Shack at La Tech. J.C. Love Field. But the damage so bad, there was 135 to 165 mile per hour winds. Their softball team was home this past weekend, and they had to move their, their games to uh, Louisiana Monroe. But La Tech dealing with storm damage. A lot of that going on in the south now. Pitch misses inside. It's 1-0 to Tanner Picnic. One gone. Last of the fifth. 2-1. Miami with the lead. Picnic hit by a pitch and then came around and scored. 2-1 the count. And the pitch. Line drive center field. Hit really well, but it's right at Massman, who is shaded perfectly there. Makes the catch. That's a hard hit ball, but a perfect position for Miami center fielder. Two gone, runner at first. Ohio's left some men on tonight. Loaded three times. Leadoff man on this inning with a single for Rudy Rote. And so they'll have to come up with a little something here from Trevor Lucas. Ohio's left fielder. 2-1 Red Hawks. Last of the fifth. Here it is. Breaking ball misses outside. It's 1-0. A lot of other interesting series going on this weekend as we start getting closer to conference tournament time. Starting to figure out who's going to be the last couple in the dance, who's going to be the last couple out. 1-0, check swing. Did he go around? He did not. They appeal. It's 2-0. The Missouri Valley Conference is going to have an interesting ride towards Selection Sunday. Will three get in out of the Mo Valley? 
Indiana State, Dallas Baptist, and Illinois State would be the top three there. 2-0, misses Levin outside. It is 3-0. Sycamores have had a great year. Illinois State producing Cardinal shortstop Paul DeYoung recently. Then, of course, Dallas Baptist has had 40 wins over the last five years, one of the few teams in the country that could say that. There's a strike. It is 3-1. Dallas Baptist playing Missouri State this weekend. That game was on national TV last night. And the Bears kind of blundered their way through it. Keith Gutton's ball club having a real tough year. 3-1 pitch, two gone. This has popped up on the infield. Second baseman Landon Stevens had a high snare of that little fly ball. And the inning is done. Ohio squanders leadoff hit. No runs a hit, no errors, and a man left. We have played 5-2-1 Miami. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WUB. Big inning here for Eddie Cutt. We're in the six. 2-1 Miami with the lead. This is Landon Stevens. This is Jordan Stevens. This is Kyle Winkler for the Red Hawks, who are up 2-1. And that one is lined foul by Landon Stevens, who struck out back in the first and the third innings tonight. 2-3-1 for the top hitting ball club in the league. 1-5-0 and oh for Ohio. Bobcats, if you're wondering are last in the league overall in hitting and fifth in pitching. But uh, conference-only stats change that up a little bit. Ohio is sixth in the league in hitting in conference games and is fifth in the league in pitching. Two and one to count on the three-hole hitting. Landon Stevens shot to the gap in left center field, base hit. This is going to roll all the way to the warning track. Rounding first and cruising into second is Landon Stevens. On a stand-up two-bagger here for the three-hole hitter for the Red Hawks. Here's Jordan Stevens. That ball is ripped to the gap, and it had to have some carry to uh, keep on sliding through the slosh. And get out to near the warning track in front of the wall. First extra base hit of the night for Miami. Double number 79 for their ball club this year. Landon Stevens on the two-bagger. That is his 18th. Ohio's left some runners on tonight. 2-1 Cats trail. Here's Jordan Stevens, third baseman. Fly ball center field. Fabic to his left, back for it, leaps, and he makes the catch, plants, and then fires it back in, but tacking from second and going to third is Landon Stevens on a line out to center by Jordan Stevens. Here is Kyle Winkler. Runner at third, one gone. 2-1 Red Hawks. We're in the sixth. And against the top hitting ball club in the league and the top pitching ball club in the league, you can't leave opportunities out there. And Ohio has left them out there and thus is flirting with giving up an insurance tally now. And the pitch. Loving outside. 
to Kyle Winkler. Winkler walked and scored. Struck out tonight. 1 0 the count, 1 gone. Runner at third. Red Hawks lead at 2 1. Winkler out of the crouch. Swings and misses. Compact swing and a pitch that was low and outside. 1 and 1. The Red Hawks in league play most recently dropped the series to NIU and Oxford. And they lost to Ball State as well prior to that. But they swept Bowling Green. They took uh, two or three from Toledo. This is a wild pitch, and it brings in a run. That's how the Red Hawks score their insurance tally. It is 3-1 now as it got away from Tanner Picnic. Red Hawks on top by two. Two and one the count now on Kyle Winkler. Well, double. Tag up, wild pitch. That's how the Red Hawks get their second run in as many innings. There's the strike. It is two and two. They always compete in the Joe Nuxall Classic. That's hosted by Cincinnati this year. They beat Wright State. They also beat UC 12, 8, and 11 innings. Smash back to the mound. Cut flags that down and throws to first in time. Another 1-3 put out that is done very, very well by this Bobcat pitching staff. Here's Cal Elvers. I don't know this to be sure, but I, I can't imagine there have been so many other 1-3 putouts by anybody else in the league this year. Ohio's just made a lot of them. Two gone, base is clear. Elvers tonight is 0 for 2. There's a strike. It's 0 and 1. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. 3-1 Red Hawks. We're in the top of the sixth. 0-2 is the count. Scoreboard says 1-1. One 0-2 one. Oh is the count. 1-1 one, one pitch. Or 0-2 oh pitch is a fly ball to right towards the corner. Sargent skids and makes the catch. He slid on his right knee near the corner. Made the catch, and the inning is done. But the Red Hawks score a run. It's 3-1 as we go to the bottom of the six. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WEB. And brought to you by Jackie O's, sustainably crafted with purpose. And Sonic, serving American classics at 75 East Stimson in Athens. Back to the Ren, bottom of the sixth. Ohio trails at 3-1. Cats have left some runners tonight, and thus the Red Hawks have capitalized. Bachman back out there. For Miami, their 6-0 starter. 
Cats need to try to get something going with the bottom third of the lineup. Sebastian Fabic, Trevor Hafner, and Ryan Sargent. Here it is from Bachman, and that drops low. It's 1-0. Ohio the leadoff man on in the last inning. And didn't score. That was a single by Rote. Left the sacks pack the inning prior to that, and also in the second. 1-0 pitch to Fabic. Swing and a miss. It's 1-1. 3-4-1 and one for the Red Hawks, trying to get their 33rd win of the year and their 13th in Mid-American Conference play. Ohio trying to go to 10-9. and 1-1 one, one pitch. There is a strike, good pitch. Pierce the plate, cut it right in half. It's 1-2. and two. Fabic walked and grounded out tonight. 3-1 Red Hawks, run in the second, run in the fifth, one in the sixth. Ohio's lone tally came in the bottom of the fourth. Fabic pushed back. That one was at his knees and inside. Two and two. Trevor Hafner on deck, Ryan Sargent in the hole. Sargent made a really nice play on a skidding on his knees sort of effort in the right field corner through the slosh and right. 2-2 two -two pitch coming. Fly ball, center field. Retreating back is Massman, still on the run in front of the track. Right center field makes the catch as he guides to the wall. And there's a long fly ball and a fly out for Sebastian Fabic. Here's Trevor Hafner, who's been on base twice tonight. Major League scores. A's lead the Pirates 11-1 tonight. A's trying to end that six-game losing streak. Pirates led 1-0 to start. Yankees 5, Twins 1, and the Bronx bottom of the seventh. Rays going to go to 10 over 521 and 11 on the year. They lead the Orioles 7-0 in the ninth. That's in Baltimore. Hafner takes one low. It's 1-0. Bottom of the eighth in Philly. Phillies 4, Nationals 2. Braves 7, Marlins 2, top of 7 in Miami. 1-0, pop-up foul. Back at home out of play by Trevor Hafner. Reds 10, Giants 7. Two offensively challenged teams have combined for 17 runs and 18 hits. They're playing that at Great American Ballpark tonight. Indians open up a home stand with the Mariners tonight. Ball game tied at 1. That's in the top of the ninth. Two and one the count here on Trevor Hafner. Finals today. Cubs beat the Cardinals. Kyle Hendricks went 81 pitches. Complete game shutout. 2-1. Swing and a miss. Two and two from Bachman, who is working here into the bottom of the sixth. Red Sox lead the White Sox 3-0. It's on the south side of Chicago. Top of the fifth inning there. Blue Jays and Rangers scoreless in the sixth. 2-2, two -two, up and in. 3-2 and two the count. Rangers, one of the top three scoring teams in Major League Baseball, if you can believe that. Brewers and Mets tied at one. Brewers just left the bases loaded in the bottom of the fourth. That's fun. Payoff pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Blew it past him, maybe a little bit of a nick off that bat, but a strikeout. That's the first one that he's had since the third inning. Yeah, that's strikeout number five. So he's had balls in play against him, but hasn't hurt him as Bachman. Here's Ryan Sargent, who is uh, one for two tonight, singled a couple innings ago and grounded out. There's a strike. It is 0-1. Three one Red Hawks. We're in the last of the sixth. Base is clear, two gone. Here it is to Ohio's nine hole hitting right fielder, and that plunked him on the back. Just got away from Bachman. And so a hit batter gives Ohio a two out base runner here. In the sixth, here is Aaron Levy. Back top side now for Ohio's DH. Strikeout, line out, and 
single tonight for Aaron Levy. Two gone, last of the six. Ohio trailing by two after the Red Hawks have scored two runs in the last two frames. Here it is. Lowen outside. To the left-handed hitter. Some activity in the Red Hawk bullpen now in that right field corner. No activity in Ohio's pen. 1-0 the count, two gone. And the pitch. This is tapped in front of the plate. Foul. Might have been off the foot of Aaron Levy. It's a foul ball. 1-1 one one the count. Spencer Moraz will go for Miami tomorrow. Right-handed junior. Jack Libator goes for the Cats. Both are right-handers. Both have five and four records coming in and very close ERAs. Moraz at 397. Libator at 338. 1-1 one, one pitch with a runner at first and two gone is low. Two and one. Then it's Jack Corbell on uh, Sunday against Kenny Og for Ohio. Two on pitch. Smacked foul. That's off his foot again. It'll be a bruise on Aaron Levy's right foot. Two and two the count with two gone. Not a whole lot of chatter here at the ballpark tonight. A little bit of chirping from both dugouts to try to stay engaged, but this is a create your own atmosphere and excitement sort of ball game tonight. At least it's not freezing outside. Temperatures in the low 60s now. 2-2 two -two pitch with two gone and a runner at first. Here in the Bobcats sixth, Levy waits for Bachman. Swing and a pop-up foul, third base side out of play. Count holding a two and two. If there was no field turf, this game is probably not played tonight. You might say, well, what if the tarp was on the field? Well, it would be one thing if the tarp didn't have holes in it. Fly ball to left. This is hit pretty well. Moving back on it is Winkler, and he makes the catch. In front of the warning track, and Ohio's out of business in the sixth. Yeah, that the tarp was a bit old. And I think some moles or moss or people, I don't know, ate the thing. There were holes in the tarp. And thus, it didn't do what a tarp was supposed to do. And thus, the field turf. And thus, we're playing tonight. And the moles and humans are going hungry now since there is no tarp to eat. We're through with six. 3-1 Miami. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WUB.
smash to the first base side of second. Trey Funderburg went all the way over there to flag that ball, and he just threw out McKay Williams. That was a bouncing ball to second, but Funderburg went to the right of the bag at second to get that and threw out McKay Williams, and now there's going to be a protest from the Miami head coach, Danny Hayden, as he runs over to talk to the first base umpire. That was a bang-bang play. That's not normally something you see without a shift. You might see a ground ball to the shortstop on the first base side, and now the umpires are going to conference here. I mean, it was a bang-bang play. There's no replay, obviously. That was close. But as it stands right now, that's McKay Williams on a ground out 6-3, but that was towards the bag at second on the first base side of the bag at second. One gone. Call stands. Red Hawks with an out here. In the top of the seventh, Miami on top 3-1. Here is Parker Massman, their center fielder. He has sloshed through the waters of center field tonight to make a couple of plays. Both center fielders have had to uh, go through the swamp out there. Pitch misses low and outside. It is 1-0 to Parker Massman. 3-1 Red Hawks. They scored in the fifth and the sixth, one in the second. Ohio's low and tally came in the fourth. One of these Red Hawks runs was on a wild pitch. 1-0 from Eddie Cutt, bounced foul. Now again, this is the top hitting ball club in the league. And this is a Red Hawk ball club that has four hits tonight. Cut to this point, just hasn't had enough offensive help. 1-1, misses low and inside. On the eight hole hitter, Massman, it's rolled into two fielder's choices tonight. Two and one the count, one gone here in the seventh. And the pitch. Pop up. This is in the right. Sergeant under it. Now he comes in a couple of steps, eyes it, and squeezes it. For round number two, and here is Charlie Harrigan, their first baseman. Cut trying to go one, two, three through the visitors half of the seventh. 3-1 Miami with the lead. Harrigan 0 for 2 tonight. Strikeout and a ground out. Nine hole hitter for the Red Hawks. This would be Ohio's second 1-2-3 inning. There was a 1-2-3 inning back in the first. Eddie Cut trying to get through the seventh here. Two gone, bases clear, and the 1-0 pitch. Fly ball foul, third base side out of play. Ohio's pitching has given it a chance. Ohio's offense has gotten better in league play, but still there have been opportunities in the games that they've lost, which they haven't capitalized. 1-1, misses Lemon outside. 2-1 the count. And through all of that, you have what is a 9-9 nine and nine league mark through the first 18 league games. A little bit of good, a little bit of not so good. 2-1. Smashed on the ground underneath the glove of Cut and into center field for a base hit. That just went underneath the lowered outstretched portion of the glove of Cut. Single to center. First hit of the night for Harrigan. Here is Christian Tejada. He had an RBI hit a couple innings ago. Two gone, top of seven. Three one Red Hawks. That's the fifth hit of the night for Miami. Cut from the stretch. Good lead at first. And the pitch, high. It's one and no. Thinking about the Red Hawks and the bases, man, did they steal. 93 of them. 93 stolen bases. 29 in league play. There's a strike. It's one and one on Christian Tejada, their best hitter and leadoff hitter. 93 stolen bases. One one, tap foul. One and two, two gone. Runner at first. If you're 
wondering about where that ranks in the country. I'm curious too. Looking it up right now. They are 13th coming into the weekend. The most Fordham with 133. Gosh, that's a lot. 1-2 misses Lubin outside. 2-2 two two the count. Two gone, top of seven, 3-1 Miami. Can you imagine that? 133 stolen bases for the Fordham Rams. Wofford at 124. Wright State at 119. My alma mater, Southern Illinois, is good at stealing bases this year and not that much else. They've had a really rough year, Southern Illinois. 116 stolen bases. It's fourth in the country. 2-2 two, two, called. Strike three. That was in the lower portion of the zone, inner half, and he got Tejada for the third time tonight. He's one for four. Inning done. Time to stretch. 3-1 Miami. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WOEB. Sam Bachman's night is done for Miami. Shane Smith is in there now for the Red Hawks. Shane Smith wears 17, relief pitcher for Miami. Six foot, 188, senior from Cincinnati and Elder High School. 3-1 Red Hawks as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Titanic struggle, number 243, all time between the red and white and the green and white. Smith making his 14th appearance this year. They have really evenly dispersed appearances out of their pen. Shane Smith, 3 and 1 with a 1.82 ERA. He pops a fastball in there for a strike. It is 0 and 1. Just hearing that, he's got some pretty good speed coming at you. Shane Smith, right handed reliever, kicks and fires, slings it in there for a strike. It is 0 and 2. On Traben Funderburg, Ohio shortstop. Two, three, and four scheduled here for Ohio on the bottom of the seventh, and Ohio down 3 1. 0 2 pitch from Shane Smith after a hesitation. This has popped up a mile in the sky to shallow left center field. Coming in is Winkler, and he makes the catch. For round number one. Here's Rudy Roan. One gone, last of the seven, 3-1 Miami with the lead. Root tonight. Rudy wrote tonight, one for three. Single strikeout fly out. Five hits for the Cats. Just haven't had that big hit tonight. They've had opportunities. This is smashed on the ground to first, back of the bag near the line. Bobbled for a minute, but Harrigan there. And he goes to the bag for the out. That's two up, two down quickly here. Rote retired. Here's Michael Richardson. I like this plate song. 
Which begs the question, do you like a song because of the beat, or do you like it because of the words? I don't know what the words are to that song, but I like the beat. Fly ball foul, first base side on a play. As long as it's not about, like, killing people or disrespecting women, I'm generally going to be on board with it, I guess. Good beat. I'm sure that's not something Michael Richardson would choose for his plate song anyway, so I'm sure the lyrics are good, too. Oh, and two the count. Two gone, last of the seventh. 3-1 Miami with the lead. Which is a good question for you. Do you like music because of the lyrics or the beat? I'm sure we'd be split on that. 0-2 oh, pitch, two gone, base is clear. That's Loman outside. 1-2. and two. I've liked songs before because of the beat. Then you actually hear the lyrics and you think, this stinks. 1-2 called, strike three. Man, Smith's pretty good. Shane Smith out of the pen. Cruises through a tough part of the lineup. 2-3-4. and four. Go down in order in the Cat 7th. Six outs to play with. Ohio down two. 3-1 Red Hawks. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WEB. One, Miami with the advantage. Three, five, and one for the Red Hawks. One, five, and zero for Ohio. And America's team just took the lead on the Mets. All right. Brewers three, Mets one. And that will delight uh, the Rote family, my family, and pretty much not all that many others that are listening to this broadcast. But. Orion Braun home run gives the Brewers a 2-1, uh, rather 3-1 lead. And that will give me a little oomph as we go into the eighth inning now. Miami 3, Ohio 1. Eddie cut back out there for the Cats. This is against the top hitting lineup in the league. And you get to the eighth inning here. This isn't bad. It, it just shows you that Ohio has not been able to capitalize. Mm. Got to get some runs. You only have six outs to play with. 1-1 the count now on uh, Will Vogelsang, who is their shortstop. Big swing and a miss. Man, he was going for the downs there. It's 1-2. and 3-1 Miami with a run in the second, one in the fifth, one in the sixth. Eddie Cut still out there. Ohio's gotten length out of starters. That's been a big part of this. If you go to your bullpen on any level early, particularly on a Friday night, you're, you're just begging to get burned. 1-2, two. low and away. 2-2 two and two is the count. That's why Miami, when you combine all their opportunistic offense with a really on-point pitching staff, that's why they're really good this year. I mean, they, they've balanced it all very well. And to their credit, they have 32 wins. 2-2 two, two pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Thunderbird charges. Room service hops. Slides it over from the side and throws out. Vogel saying for out number one. 3-1 Red Hawks in the eighth. All things considered tonight, we've moved along at a pretty good pace when we started at around 8 o'clock, actually 7.58. We got going two minutes early, which I'm not a fan of. If 
you say a time, you should have the first pitch at that time. Fastball strike. 0-1 on Landon Stevens. If you're coming out to the ballpark tomorrow, um, you're, you're going to need to find a parking spot somehow. I, I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know how I or we are going to do it. 1-1 one one the count. Because I, I believe the parking underneath the convo tomorrow is blocked off. And it's graduation. 1-1, one, one, fly ball to left, and this is gone. Oh, my, is that gone. A big old Red Hawk blast. Man. 4-1 Miami on a Landon Stevens absolute blast over the screen and left. Wow. There was no doubt about it. Landon Stevens, his fifth home run of the year, RBI number 34. He is two for four on the night. That was an absolute jack of a blast to left. Home run number 30. Here is Jordan Stevens, fouled back. Six hits on the night for the Red Hawks. Wow. That screen and left isn't high enough for one, but it's not protecting much of anything um, because most home runs are going to go over that screen, but that was way out of here. That might have hopped all the way over to Cat's corner. 0-2 oh the count, one gone. Here in the eighth, Red Hawks add. It's 4-1. And it's unfortunate because Ohio has had opportunities tonight and they've left runners out there. And that's why the Red Hawks are knifing their way towards the top of the league standings. And Ohio has done some good and some not so good this year. 0 2 misses high and wide. It's 1 and 2. You just have to find wins. You have to find them. you got to find four. That's the logic here. If Ohio could get to 13 wins, they are in. 1-2, fly ball foul, first base side out of play. And Rob Smith's ball clubs have proven that if you get to the MAC tournament, you're going to win. Now, he'd like to get there every year, <laughs> and he'd like to win it every year, but, but every time that a Rob Smith ball club has got to the MAC tournament, we know that they have won. Now, it's a, it's a small sample size, but there's some, some truth behind that logic. 1-2 is high. It is 2-2. Two and two. So if you come back and win this one tonight, you, you mark one win off that you need to get, and then you need three more. But regardless of what happens from here to the end of that series in Kalamazoo, you've got to get to 13 wins. 2-2 two -two pitch from Eddie Cut. High. It's 3-2. and two. Now just based on the numbers with Ohio's pitching staff, you have a good chance of avoiding sweeps. I mean, it just it, – that one weekend in DeKalb where Ohio was swept, that not much went right. The timely hitting wasn't there, and, and Northern really started to catch fire. Three and two the count now. Time called as Stevens is at the plate. He's 0 for 3 tonight. He's their third baseman. Tanner Picnic out to the mound. But that win on Sunday against Kent State was huge. 3-2. Picnic tried to frame it up. That missed outside. It's a one-out walk. Activity in Ohio's pen will really get going now. Ground out homer walk here for the Red Hawks in their eighth inning. And what's amazing about the, the two years that Ohio has been to the MAC tournament under Rob Smith and has won, Ohio has not played Miami. Um, they played Kent State more than anybody else up there. Um, Kent State, Ball State, Eastern Michigan have been uh, teams that Ohio seen. There was that, obviously, the no-hitter against Bowling Green. Um, but Ohio has not seen Miami up there in the Rob Smith era. 
Meeting done on the mound. Picnic back behind the plate. One gone, top of the eighth, 4-1 Miami with the lead. Now Rob Smith's coming out, and this will be a pitching change. 4-1 Ohio Trails. We're in the eighth. Runner on at first, one gone. Red Hawks with a solo homer from Landon Stevens. And the night is done for Eddie Cutt, who pitched pretty well, all things considered, against the top hitting ball club in the MAC and the 11th best hitting ball club in the country. Home plate umpire out to the mound, and there will be a eventual move to the pen. Yes. 4-1 Cats trail. We're in the eighth. Step aside from 90, 490. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WOUB. One gone, runner on at first. Nick Camrata in there now for the Cats. Camrata for Ohio in there with Ohio down four to one to Miami here in the eighth. One gone, runner at first. Nick Camrata set to work for Ohio. Camrata making his 21st appearance that ties him for a staff high with Brett Manis. Two Michiganders there. No record, 5.89 ERA. 10 strikeouts, six walks. Activity continues in the Miami pen, or rather in the uh, Bobcat pen. No activity in the Red Hawk pen. So Camrata, the right-handed reliever with a high set. And this is hit on the ground a second. Should be two, four, six, three. Double play, inning done. One pitch and one big out. Two of big outs, in fact. Double play, inning done. As the Red Hawks, Kyle Winkler rolls into that 4-6-3 twin killing. We're through with seven and a half, four one Miami. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WOUB.
the bottom of the eighth inning. Ohio trails at 4-1. 4-6 and 1 for the Red Hawks. 1-5 and 0 for Ohio. Tanner Picknick to lead it off against a good reliever here. Shane Smith for the Red Hawks. And the first one's a strike. It is 0-1. Red Hawks with a run in the second, one in the fifth, one in the sixth, one in the eighth. That eighth inning shot was a home run. Ohio's lone tally came in the fourth inning, and that tied the game at one at that point. One and one the count on Tanner Picknick to lead it off here in the Bobcat eighth. Picknick, Lucas, and Sebastian Fabic scheduled a big swing and a miss. It is one and two. On this date in Major League Baseball history, Joe DiMaggio made his Major League debut. Had three hits and a 14-5 Yankee victory over the St. Louis Browns. 1936. I'm sure a lot of people forgot that St. Louis had two teams, the Browns and the Cardinals. Swing and a miss, strike three. Picnic goes down on strikes. Shane Smith's pretty good. Here's Trevor Lucas. One gone, bases clear. Bottom of the eighth, 4-1 Miami. This date in 1959, Charlie Maxwell of the Detroit Tigers hit four consecutive homers in a doubleheader sweep of the Yankees. 4-2 and 8-2 at Briggs Stadium. That's what it was known back then. Tiger Stadium is what most people knew it as. Check swing by Lucas, went around. So on one. 1980, Ferguson Jenkins, then of the Rangers, became the fourth pitcher in Major League history to win 100 more games in each league. Oh one one pop-up, foul ground, playable, first baseman near the line. Harrigan there, and he makes the catch. Two gone. Shane Smith is making quick work of five, six, and hopefully not seven in the Bobcat lineup. Two gone, last of the eighth in the pitch. Misses outside. How about this one? 1899. Jack McCarthy of the Pittsburgh Pirates hits a game-winning three-run homer in the bottom of the ninth when his drive into the corner goes through a door that a fan then shuts before the fielder can reach it. So it went through a door, and then the fan shut it, and that's how the Pirates then won the game. But then the National League eventually ordered the game to be replayed. So that is the first recorded moment that Pirate fans cheated to get a win. Two and two the count. How about that? Went through a door. Fan closed it. Fielder can't reach it. Ball game, they thought. Game had to be replayed. Two and two the count. Two gone. Last of the eighth here. And the pitch. And on the ground, underneath the on-stretch glove of the pitcher, knocked down on a dive by Stevens, throws to first. They got him. Hang a star on that. That's a heck of a play. On a dive, Stevens.
Top of the ninth inning is on. 4-1 Miami with the lead. Nick Camrata still out there for the Cats. And uh, here is Cal Elvers, and the first one misses high and wide. It's 1-0. Bobcats trail this one 4-1. Six hits for the Red Hawks tonight. Five for Ohio. One air for the Red Hawks as we move to the ninth. Eddie Cutt certainly did good work tonight. Scattered a, a bunch of... Uh, Runs, well, not a bunch, four, but single tallies in, in four innings. Ohio's left some base runners. Red Hawks have capitalized. Top hitting ball club in the league, top pitching ball club in the league, looking like that tonight. Elvers, their catcher, is 0 for 3 tonight. 2 and 1 the count. Ohio will have to try to at least score three in the bottom of the ninth. And the pitch, down back. Camrata from Grand Ledge, Michigan. Second pitcher used tonight, Ohio. Has done this a lot where they've had Pitcher economy. 2-2. Two, two. Fouled back. Do it again at 2-2. Two and two. Four, 4-1 Miami. The one run came in the fourth for Ohio. Camrata from the stretch. Kicks and fires. And missed the spot. Missed Loman inside. Three and two the count. Rain in the forecast tomorrow. Game time scheduled for three right now. We'll find out if that's firm at the end of this one tonight. Payoff pitch, nobody gone. Smack down the line and left. Base hit. Hitting first, trying to go to second is Elvers and he is going to get there with the head first slide. He really hit it into another gear as that ball came in to Richardson. So this doubling machine that is Miami comes up with their second. And that is number 80 on their season. Here's McKay Williams. On base twice tonight. Time called, Rob Smith out to the mound. Might get a pitching change here in the top of the ninth. Lead off to Bagger for the 32 win Red Hawks. There is activity in Ohio's pen, and Rob Smith's going to make the move. So, leadoff man on, top of the ninth, 4-1 Miami with the lead. Camrata out, new pitcher in, will step aside for 90. Cats trail at 4-1 of Miami. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WOEB.
Burns on there now for the Red Hawks. Or I'm sorry, for Ohio. Burns making his 20th appearance this year. No record, 5.84 ERA, 17 strikeouts, 10 walks. Nick Burns and a bunt put down up the third base side foul from McKay Williams. It's 0 1. Nick Burns in there for the Cats. Burns wears 32. Situational lefty, Cincinnati Moeller High School. 6'2, 189. Everything else in the league is done. Important one that Ohio didn't get in their favor today was Western Michigan winning over Eastern Michigan. 0-1 the count, nobody gone, runner at second, top of the ninth, 4-1 Miami with the lead. Ohio with just one run that was in the bottom of the fourth inning. Left on left here with the corners pinching in, and the bunt's put down, it's a good bunt, it's down to the mound, picked up by Picnic, throws to first late, gets away, and hanging at third, no advance, one of the runners past that overthrow. Richardson was there to back up the play. And so it is a uh, failed fielder's choice in essence, but they're going to put a hit up on the board. An infield single with uh, no advance of the runners past that. Stopping at third is Elvers. Richardson did work there to make sure that there was no advancement. So runners on the corners here. Nobody gone in the ninth. This is left on right here. Parker Massman, their center fielder, he squares the bunt, pushes it down towards first, it rolls foul. If that stayed fair, the Red Hawks would have had their fifth run because I don't think there would have been enough time for the retrieval of the ball, throw home tag to be made. Now, that's just my view on it. Could have been wrong. But it's a strike. Scoring to bunt again, puts it down. This is going to be a suicide squeeze for a run. It's 5-1 on the bunt that's put down that Camrata was, or rather Burns was able to field it near the line at first, threw it over the road for the out. 5-1 Red Hawks scoring from third is Cal Elvers. On a nice job by Parker Massman on that bunt. Sacrifice 1-3. Here's Charlie Harrigan, their first baseman. And the Red Hawks now are up by four as we're in the ninth. Single tallies here for the Red Hawks. They are single tallying Ohio to death here tonight. And this is why Burns stayed in there because this is a left-handed batter. There's a strike. It is 0-1 on Harrigan, who tonight is one for three. Eight hits for the Red Hawks tonight. There's been one big blow. That was the Landon Stevens home run. He struck out twice, homered, and doubled. Scored two of their five runs. 0-1, framed up by Picnic. It's a strike, it's 0-2. One gone, top of the ninth. Ohio trails at 5-1. 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. So Burns came back inside on the left-handed hitter. And Harrigan goes down on strikes. Back topside now to Christian Tejada. A visit with Rob Smith in postgame tonight. I would imagine that he would think that Eddie Cutts' work was good enough to keep Ohio in the game, and it was. But Miami's pitching really limited Ohio's offensive opportunities, and they just didn't capitalize on a couple of bases loaded chance earlier in the game. This is smoked foul just to the left of the Bobcat dugout. Might have actually got in that dugout. 0-1 the count on Christian Tejada, and he scalds the ball. 359 hitter coming in. Their DH at the top of the lineup. Two red batting gloves close to the plate, right-handed side in the 0-1. That missed. 1-1 the count. So barring a big-time comeback, Ohio's going to have to try to Level the series at 1 tomorrow afternoon on a graduation Saturday here in Southeast Ohio. 1-1 one -one pitch. Swing and a miss. Good breaking ball. Tejada's helmet nearly popped off there. 1-2 the count, top of the ninth. 
another single tally for the Red Hawks. The fifth inning, they've done that. Runner on at second with two gone. Burns, third pitcher used tonight, kicks and fires with a runner going. That slap foul, woof. Watch out over there in the on-deck circle. And nearly took the legs out of Will Vogelsang. And actually, it nearly hit him twice because he had to skip out of the way the first time, and then it hit the brick, and then it came back and nearly hit him again. It's uh, amazing that doesn't happen more. One and two the count, two gone. Miami led in the first. There was a one-out walk and an RBI single by McKay Williams. That's how they grabbed onto the lead. 1-2, misses outside. Lead-off walk in the fifth inning. Came around to score in an RBI single by Tejada. 2-2 two two the count, two gone, runner at second. 5-1 Miami with the lead. And a bluff move back to second by... Nick Burns. If you're thinking about the Bobcat ninth, it is eight, nine, and one scheduled here. Two two pitch. Hangs high from Burns, two and two. This is also a little bit of trust in Burns as he's uh, facing off against the best Red Hawk hitter who is a right-handed hitter. So this is not just situational lefty stuff. 3-2, misses Lumen inside. Ball four, runners on first and second now. There is activity in Ohio's pen. Rob Smith coming out, and so there was a chance there for Burns to get through it as a lefty facing more than just lefties, and he'll come out of the ball game now. Runners on first and second, two gone, top of the ninth. Run already in for the Red Hawks, 5-1 Miami. 90-second pause for the pitching change. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340, WOUB. Braxton Kelly, 6'3", 185 at a freshman. In there now with runners on first and second, two gone here in the top of the ninth with the run already in for the Red Hawks. Braxton Kelly making his 16th appearance, one and two with the 7.84 ERA. Opposition hitting 278 against him, 17 strikeouts, 14 walks. Braxton Kelly in there for Ohio. Fourth pitcher used tonight. Game one of this three-game series, meeting 243 all-time between these two schools. Miami is riding in on a really good record, 32 wins. And 
trying to further stake their claim near the top of the MAC here this year. So Braxton Kelly on, Will Vogel sang as the hitter, and a bluff move back to second with Hafner in at the cut of what would be the grass, but there is no grass, at third and wrote behind the runner at first. Two gone here in the ninth, Ohio down four. Kelly kicks and fires. That missed somewhere. Not really sure where. One and oh. Next one misses high and wide, 2-0 oh the count. Don't want to make it any worse. Two gone, down by four already. Here it is from Kelly. Vogel Zhang takes a strike, it's 2-1. Flew out, singled, struck out, and uh, grounded out tonight. First and second, the runners. Ohio down by four here. Got to keep it right there. Runner breaks from second. The pitch is inside. Throw to third, and they got him. He overslid the bag, and now he's running away from Hafner. But I think the tag was applied before that anyway. And so there's the throw out of uh, the lead runner, in the situation, Williams. Anyway, inning done. We head to the bottom of the ninth. 5-1 Miami. This is Bobcat Baseball on AM 1340 WEB. Bobcat third baseman takes a strike at his 0-1 from Shane Smith, who has been on there to relieve tonight's starter, Sam Bachman. Next one is a popping fastball that was letter high. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Hafner tonight is 0-2. for Ohio's left 9-0-2, just blew it right past him for strike three. Wow. Shane Smith, really bowed up to fire it past Hafter, and that's good morning, good afternoon, and nighty night. One gone, bases clear, bottom nine, 5-1 Redhawks with the lead. I mean, Shane Smith, after that strikeout, showed some moxie there. There's a strike. On Ryan Sargent, 0-1 the count. Next one, strike called, it's 0-2. After tonight, walk, reached on an air, struck out. 0-2 from Shane Smith. 
Hesitation, fires, dropped low. First ball he's thrown this inning, it is one and two. Smith looking for his fourth save. One, two, swing and a miss. Strike three, tail low and away. After he releases it, after he gets a swing and a miss, he, he walks off the mound and confidently walks behind it. That's the moxie of a, a closer or a guy that knows he's got the stuff. There's a, a little bit of showmanship to a closer or a guy that's finishing a game. And he seems to have that. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here's Aaron Levy. Two gone, bases clear, and Ohio's just swinging at an angry noise right now. It's 0-1. As Shane Smith is just blowing it past the Cats here. 0-1 strike framed up nicely by Cal Elvers. And Ohio's down to its last strike in what is a sprinter fast ninth inning. 5-1 Ohio trails, 0-2 pitch to Aaron Levy. Swinging a pop-up. This is into shallow left center. Coming in on a dead run, it's Massman. Now will give way to the left fielder, Winkler. And the game is over, and Ohio loses it 5-1. Ohio goes down in order in the ninth. Single tallies for the Red Hawks in the second, fifth, sixth, eighth, and ninth innings. And Ohio University baseball falls to Miami 5-1 the final.